Hi, and welcome to NEMC Channel 6 Focus Program. I'm Joe Adair. I'll be your host today. In this segment, we're going to be highlighting the Armada Business Association, and joining me will be Mr. Ben Delecki. Welcome, Ben. Thanks for joining us on this segment of the Focus Program. Today, as I said, we're going to be highlighting some of the uh, features and aspects of the Armada Business Association, and as president, you're probably the most appropriate person here to answer some questions. Let's start out right from the beginning. Tell me a little bit, what is the Armada Business Association? How was it founded? What, what is it that they do? Give me some insight. Okay, well, uh, first let me uh, say thank you for inviting me onto your show, and uh, thanks uh, uh, for uh, inviting me into your living room. So the Armada Business Association is comprised of individual business owners and building owners within the confines of the Armada Township. Uh, it was founded in 2001 by a smaller group, uh, still the Armada Business Association, and uh, we founded to uh, increase our business, have a, uh, uh, a collective voice, and foster uh, community spirit. So um, that was the uh, initial thing, uh, and it kind of went along that way. In 2005, uh, we had kind of a restructuring of the uh, Armada Business Association, and we increased our numbers to a present count of today of uh, 40 members. So we also expanded our boundaries. The boundaries used to be the township uh, per se, but then we kind of looked at the eastern boundary, which was Omo Road, uh, and that was too close. So now we've included the uh, school district, so whichever boundary is greater, the Armada Township or the Armada School District. So um, we, we do many things, uh, but the, the, the main thing that we really wanted to do was we all really like Armada. We, most of us right. live here. Been we all have forever. our businesses here. And we wanted to give back to the community besides promote ourselves. So the Armada Business Association was a, a, was a way where we thought we could do that. So as a collective number, um, we've banded together, and in essence, that's kind of what the Armada Business Association is today. Okay, and I know you don't do fundraisers, but tell me a little bit of, about some of the things that the Armada Business Association does do for our community. Well, as independent business people, uh, and, and a lot of you come into our stores and our shops, you see the hours that we work. So we, we really don't have the time to go out and because uh, many of us are involved in many other different things besides our businesses. So we don't have time to go out and do fundraisers. So we said that right in the beginning, uh, we were going to support ourselves just off of dues. So that's it. All the money that we get is just a, uh, um, for a, uh, an existing member. Our, our dues are only $50 per year. So uh, we don't have a lot of money. So, but what we do do is we have events that we uh, um, that we that we that we put on. So um, my favorite's the Easter egg hunt. Oh well, thanks. <laughs> that is our biggest one. Yeah. So and, and and the attendance in that, I think uh, the Easter egg hunt's been going on for seven or eight years. It's held at the uh, our our Maida Fair uh, with the cooperation of the fair, uh, the Agricultural Society. Um, They've been great. Uh, they've, they've donated uh, uh, eggs to, uh, for our cause, and uh, it's, it's, it's well, uh, hopefully a lot of you have, have been to the, uh, the Easter egg hunt. Um, it's always the second Saturday, so it's eight days before Easter. So uh, one time it rained, but we still had, uh, we moved it inside. The fair board worked with us, or the Agricultural Society worked with us. Uh, and they moved out a whole bunch of uh, vehicles that were stored. Uh, we were able to ho still host it, put it on on time, and uh, it was great. Uh, a lot of the Easter egg uh, hunts, I think, uh, actually were canceled or not many people went to them because it had rained for three days and continued to rain all that day. Right. But we they still had an extensible... They weren't having them. Yes. Now, do you take donations for that type of thing? Um, I, I guess we could, but uh, we At never have. We're, we're solely self-supported. The only... Uh, 
uh, donation that we've ever got was uh, from the fair because the fair really liked what we were doing and they wanted to contribute. So uh, at two different times they helped us buy our eggs. So because the eggs are quite expensive, uh, the candy is too, but um, and that is our biggest uh, event. In 2007, when the uh, downtown was rebuilt, we wanted to come up with a uh, um, something to bring everybody back into into downtown. So. Uh, the, the street was taken out, the sidewalks were taken out, the whole downtown was closed for five weeks. So we came up with, uh, we wanted to have um, a reason for everybody to come in and walk around downtown to, to uh, show what the DDA and the village had done with the downtown area. So just luckily the uh, homecoming was uh, that week, so we did a, um, a, a cooperation project with the high school and a window painting contest. So, and that um, event still goes on today. And different groups from the high school paint, a, a pick a window and they, uh, I think at the most we've had 18 windows painted. So there was 18 different groups. And they all painted a different window. And so that's how that started was that 2007 road closer. So what it did, people came down to look at the road and, and, and then they walked around and they saw the different windows of downtown. And it was, uh, it, it, it was pretty neat to see because people did walk from different store to different store um, and, uh, and view that. And then the con it's actually a contest. So the contest is, and another reason we did it was because our businesses were closed. So one of the things was to get people to come down, look at the windows, but also come into the stores. Right. So what we did was we had uh, a, a can inside. So, and how you, how the contest um, was uh, enacted was the can, you voted with a quarter. So a quarter was a vote. So you actually had to go into the store and vote for that window. Say like uh, um, you're your grandson uh, was on a football team, and a football team painted this window. You wanted to go in and vote for his window. So you had to go into the store, drop a quarter in the can, and then hopefully walk around in the store That's a little right. bit, and hey, you're there, oh, I need something. You know, your hardware store, oh, I need a new screwdriver. Or, right. or right. you know, or you went into Licks, ah, it's time for an ice, ice cream. cream. So that, that was a- Entice people to get inside the sure. store. Sure, yeah. So that, that was pretty clever. Now is the- uh, painting contest, is that your next event that's coming up? Yes, it is. So I'm, I'm not quite sure exactly when homecoming is, but uh, it's before, so it's the week prior to the homecoming. So at that point in time, uh, roughly the weekend before the game uh, to I think Monday or that weekend, then the windows are painted. So then you have uh, most of the week to, uh, to vote. So again, the, the voting is by quarter. Uh, and you don't have to be limited to a quarter. If you're a uh, grandmother, you can go in there and drop yeah, 10 bucks can, in the can right. or whatever. And I'd like to say that all the money that is put in those cans goes to that group. So the, our Made of Business Association does not keep any of that money. And it doesn't go to the winner. It actually goes to the group who painted that window. So, uh, and then there are first, second, and third place prizes, but that's given by the uh, Made of Business Association. So there's, I don't know if we're gonna do the same funding, but I think it was a $125 for first place, 75 for second, and 50 for third. So that's the Armada uh, Business Association end, but all the voting goes to that individual group, be it choir, band. The group that uh, painted the picture. The group that painted the picture. So it's a, it's a good way, it's a good fundraiser for that group, and if you're, uh, uh, a, a neighbor, a friend, and, and you, uh, and it's, you know that uh, you, the, the kid that you know is, is part of that group. It's a great way to help fundraise, help uh, foster their group. Um, and, uh, and the kids have a great time. So right. it, it, you know, it, That's part of the fun of it. Yeah, it is. And yeah. the fact that the, that the Armada Business Association isn't doing it for profit it truly is something that that association is giving back to the community oh, and to those those groups to yeah. help them gain some money. Yeah, so it, it's really a twofold thing. So it's again, 
uh, fostering a community spirit and giving to the community what we can. Great. Anything else you want to add to that? Um, well, uh, the if I could list the other things that we do. Great. So uh, the um, so the first thing would be the Easter egg hunt. The next thing we do kind of something in the summer. We tried a sidewalk sale uh, a few years. Um, we, it didn't really take off as what we had hoped, but now we uh, uh, do something in uh, 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 coordination with the village and the uh, jams in the park. Right. So the last, uh, um, the, last the concert la that we have. The last concert, yeah, thanks. Mm -hmm. uh, um, is the Soggy Bottom Boys, and last year, we did a dedication of a plaque to the rock in the park. So I don't know if anybody, I'm sure many people were there. Actually, the Detroit News came yeah. and uh, 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 they, had, they had a photographer and a, and a reporter and they had uh, a write-up in the news. There was a write-up in the Macomb Daily and it was over the, the, the rock and the plaque and the jams and the reporter said to me, he said, Sorry, um, you guys really have a great community. He yes. said, you know, that the, 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 the people here. that came and, and the, uh, the spirit that was here, I mean, he said he was uplifted just to come and be part of that event. Right. So, um, and, the, and the plaque really says when the, uh, uh, the rock was put in, it has a picture, picture of the day that it was delivered to the park, um, and it sits. Uh, next to it. So that, that event went so well, and then we had some food that we gave away during that, and we thought, okay, well, we can't do another plaque, but we can do the food again. So uh, now it's an annual event, and uh, uh, during intermission, we kind of, uh, or throughout the thing, um, there's food, uh, and it's by uh, different vendors from the, uh, from the business association. So we had uh, pizza, and uh, hamburgers, hamburgers, and you chips. know, so uh, and chips, and uh, well, there was lemonade, nice tea, and yep, yeah, it was a nice, nice, yeah. nice ceremony. And another cool thing that happened last year during the dedication of the rock is they cleaned all the old layers of paint off. Oh yeah, so people were collecting mm -hmm. the chips of paint, and there's some of them that are better than a quarter inch thick of just layers and layers and layers of paint from over the years of everybody painting the rock, so mm -hmm. that's been kind of a cool tradition over the years. Well, it, and, and, and in doing that, we did uh, take the loose paint off the rock, we did clean up around the, the area, because there was paint all over the park, so we did actually clean the whole park up uh, in, in that aspect, um, so it was neater, uh, and even to this day, it's, it's, it's still nicer because that the paint chips aren't uh, uh, flaking off, and if, it, if anybody would like some of those chips, I still have some. Yeah, we have one in the village office. Yeah, and, and there's some of the, so many people that do have them, but if, if anybody wants them, I still have some. But yeah, then- Because uh, the wild fuchsia paint, you know, that- Oh, it, it's that amazing. That was my brother's. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because it, it, it bends and right. it, it's, uh, you can see all the striations in it. It's, yeah. it's, it's pretty amazing. Um, so the other event that we do is the homecoming window painting contest. And we also do uh, something at Christmas time. It's a home decoration contest. So we uh, um, Again, we give uh, first second and third place prizes in the uh, um, It's gift certificates to the members of the different members of the business association and we also do a welcome basket So people moving into the area. I didn't know we still did that uh, or Probably re brought it back because I think we didn't do that for a while um, well, it was Something Acta that we used to do it. Acta used to do it. Yes. So then it kind of fell by the wayside, mm -hmm. and the business association picked it back up, and uh, uh, we had a little bit of time coming up with how we were going to do it, and uh, um, so now we have uh, an actual uh, cloth bag. It's kind of like one of those shopping tote. bags, a tote bag uh, that says uh, our made of this association on it, and different members put in uh, uh, collectibles and uh, uh, useful items, and. Uh, uh, so that's great. I didn't yeah. know you, that you did that again. That's a nice welcome to our community, yeah. kind of a thing. So Thanks. that's that's good. Um, anything else that they've got up got coming up soon? 
No, other than the window con uh, painting contest, that's that's our next event. So that'll be uh, right after uh, or, or just before homecoming. So then at the homecoming uh, football game, the winners of the uh, uh, contest are announced during halftime. Great. Great. So. Okay, well, thanks, Ben. A lot of information. Yep. Uh, one of the things we forgot to point out is that this is actually the Armada yeah. Business Association's logo, so watch for that. It's a great organization. And, um, and if I could add, uh, this is a, a roster. So this is the Armada Business Association members, and I think it'll be on uh, kind of the credits at the end of the show. But you could pick those up at uh, different uh, members' businesses. Mm -hmm. They could be on a counter or something like that. And uh, if you don't see one, ask for it. Yes, yes. And if anybody would like to join, all you have to do is uh, be within the confines of the Armada Township or the school, Armada School District, whichever boundary is greater. You have to have a tax ID number or a uh, building owner, uh, a business building owner. And uh, um, Thanks very much for your time. Well, thanks for joining us. Oh. And thanks for tuning in and watching us here at NEMC Channel 6 Focus Program. I'm Joe Adair, and be sure to watch at the end for the credits. Thanks for watching.